this was a concept that was happening in another country, in Europe, and my co-founder saw the idea, brought it to me, we brought it back in the US, and we completely transformed that idea. We executed much, much better than did they did. We rebranded it, we used applied technology in novel ways, um, and we changed, say, the operations. We really, really changed it, but it wasn't even our idea. It wasn't our, us who thought it up. We thought of how to use technology in a brilliant way, but it was a concept that was elsewhere. And I've been, I do a lot of traveling, and there are so many fabulous things happening in other countries, and I think, why aren't we doing that here? A lot of my inspiration as I was building Zipcar or these other companies has been that I try to read and um, follow people on Twitter and go to lectures that are outside of my area of expertise. Because then you are like thinking, wow, like that's a really cool idea. What if we took that and put that here? But you have to have that type of input coming from all these different areas. So it makes, it's not like I'm trying to have new connections. But when you're hearing new things, it's making you think and look at things differently than everyone else has done. I think you can be an entrepreneur at any age. And I, the Kauffman Foundation did this study. And even as I say these words, it's unbelievable to me. But their study was really robust. <laughs> the average age of startups is of a startup entrepreneur is 49. It is not people in their 20s. So A. I feel like we're in this kind of reimagining that everyone starts right out of college. Not necessarily the case. Um, the nice piece of starting out of school is can you live at home and not have anyone and not have to carry your food and living expenses? That's ideal. Um, if you can't do that, can you be married and have your spouse pay for living <laughs> expenses? That would be, that's also ideal. The minimum viable product is what is the least smallest thing that you can start with that you can start having customers with and start learning about what it is that you want to do. Because I talked before about being a learning company, you want to really iterate fast. And if we think of the difference, one of the differences between big companies and small companies is that in a small company, you can turn on a dime. Like, you know, in half an hour, you can make a decision and act on it. Whereas in a big company, it will take months, many levels of decision making to make any changes. So that's how small companies can actually compete because they are iterating so incredibly fast. So you want to start with the minimum viable product and then you can really follow the path that's interesting to your client base because you are following the clients as you move up. It is important to get as close to your customers as fast as possible. And I find even with myself that it's really hard to do a minimum viable product that's minimum, that you're constantly thinking, no, no, it really has to have this other part, and it really has to have this. And then you overbuild, and then you have to unbuild and debuild, <laughs> which is very disappointing. So um, doing a minimum viable product is really important, and it's even more minimum than you think it is.